Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Alwa's Legacy. We are in the middle of this dungeon, or rather, exactly three quarters through this dungeon, the abandoned ruins, and we are on our way to open the second door blocking the boss fight. I don't know exactly what we did last time. I pressed this switch here, I can see that. But, okay, I, apparently I didn't, didn't press that switch. So... Basically, even though I recorded yesterday, I'm not entirely sure which uh, you know, step comes next. Okay, so here we have to... I think up this ladder is closed. Yeah, okay. And we'll have to do that kind of puzzle there, platforming challenge. But for now, I think we need to turn back time. Wait, turn forward time. There we go again. Right, we can... wait. Go this way around this time. Because we just deactivated this laser barrier. Yep, don't need to worry about that guy. Nice try, never mind. Wait. Uh, how do we do this? Uh-oh. Oh, now... Nope, never mind. I'm done. We need to be one level up. Well, for that other guy's patrolling, so we did need to take this way here. And here I was thinking I was actually smart and observant. Nope. This is where we want to be. That's actually nasty with that guy being there. Okay, well, thanks for the damage, I suppose. Oh, right. So much for the platforming challenge. Platforming non-challenge, more like. So that's how we open this, and that means that we can now turn back time to the past and just use this rightmost staircase sequence of ladders to go all the way to the top, now that that's open. Okay. I really wanted to make sure that uh, that their time back and forth gimmick was used to its fullest, fullest extent here. <clears throat> Fair enough, I guess. Okay, now these are active, but not a huge issue. Oh, hi there, orb. Uh, so we have to return here with um, the time reversed, or time in the present. Somehow. Okay, I, hmm. This first spike pit here. Oh, Cat, what's going on? Always when I start recording, too. She's not like that most of the day. Uh, assuming you can hear her frantically dashing through the apartment. Anyway, uh, what was I saying? Right, so... Uh, I, I can't just easily dash over this spike pit, so we don't need the protection there, but... Yeah. Oh, this is, uh... Ooh, that somehow worked. Kind of surprised it did, but I'll take it. Still following the chain. Okay. We need to hit that switch, obviously, because we can't crawl through here. Metroid may be able to crawl, but... Zoe cannot. So we do this. Go up here. I mean, there's that thing preventing you from bubbling and thereby bypassing the uh, time switch, I guess? Hmm. Seems kind of... Well, I suppose, since they did want us to... Uh, hmm, wait. Maybe bait the attack? And then attack him? Perfect. They wanted us to use the time switch, so they had to somehow make sure that there wasn't another way to deal with that situation. Anyway, one of the rare cases here where... Honestly, I'm surprised that didn't hit me, and it kind of should have, because I timed that very badly, but okay. Uh, one of the rare situations where dealing with the enemies is actually not optional. Okay, here we are at the wait. And this looks pretty simple again. Just another one of these. Go through here, plenty of time. Open that. That should open the uh, second, or technically the first gate, allowing us to access the boss. Awesome. And here we drop down and land right here. Oh, this is also kind of cleverly allowing us to travel back in the present and grab both of those orbs that we bypassed, or that we passed by, more like, not quite the same thing. Um, 
think. We need the eternal bubble here, huh? Yep. Unless there is another way to do this, to return to this area that I can't think of right now, but... I mean, we couldn't have taken the path through here that we that we just took in the past. Because the gates, uh, or the path, would have been blocked. That's why we had to go through here with all the traps active in the first place. But returning is obviously very trivial. Mostly because all the traps are inactive, like these. No big deal. So we pick that up, and that brings us up to 13 free orbs. Not bad. Uh, that is actually enough to get both the uh, crucial uh, traversal upgrades, which is awesome. Right? Yes, exactly enough. And still, while well, still even uh, retaining the lightning health, which is nice to have, although it comes into play not quite as much as I as I would like, perhaps, or I guess I could be using it more. Anyway, um, we can also just go ahead and kill ourselves here. Save us a trip back. Yeah, death count, but whatever. Where are we now? Almost 50? 49, yeah. Um, Alright, that's also... I think that's one thing that the recent patch added as an option to to hide this counter, to, or to just not display it every time you die, in case that annoys you, I guess. I mean, it doesn't bother me, so whatever. Um, let's see here. So we, we're done. We could, we could access the boss. 89% of the map. The boss room would add to that. Oh, and then there is the uh, other big thing. Oh. Well, I guess I have to uh, flip the switch. We do need to be in the present, though, to access the boss. Because otherwise there is an energy barrier in the way, so... I'll do this once. <clears throat> Wait for the white out. White out and white back in. Jump down here. Smash that guy, because why not? And collect our reward. Hopefully it's more orbs, please. <sighs> it was not. Ten. I really would have vastly preferred more orbs. Okay, no idea how I got through that without taking damage. The enemy ran right into me, but okay. <clears throat> oh well. So that brings us up to... Okay, that did add to the completion. 94%. That... I wonder if that means that the boss room is actually going to complete the, the 100%. Do we actually have 100% completion anywhere? We do not. So this might be the first place? If it's not 100%, I have no idea where else to look, because I'm pretty sure we collected everything that we saw along the way. Or did we? Or did we? Is there... Oh, now that I said that, was there one chamber with an item... One of those enclosed rooms with an item in it? Mm. Well, I guess we'll see. We will see. Uh, we do have our time stop enabled, which is probably going to be useful in the boss fight. I mean... That sounds like it would be extremely useful in any boss fight, honestly. It would have been extremely useful in the previous boss fights. We could have just frozen them in time and wailed on them. Hmm, I wonder. I guess from now on, obviously you, you couldn't possibly have had time stop for the first two bosses. So they must have designed um, all the bosses starting with this one with time stop in mind to make them not cheesable. Although, might as well still try. Anyway, uh, let's see. What we have here. Huge stone face with a weird thing on his forehead. Okay. Lots of spikes, lots of falling platforms, and um, well, I'm assuming, yeah, obviously, I'll have to hit that face, right? Assuming that's the boss. So that means that we will have to jump up to these platforms. Oh. Desmond Grimm. Oh god, he's starting to shoot immediately. Uh, opening his eyes. Okay, we do attack the eyes. Kind of awkward because... Oh no, okay. And it does have to be the open eye. 
when he only has one open. That's good to know. Also, it kind of makes sense, I guess. Okay, dodge those. Uh, bubble is kind of in the way here. Okay, three hits in. That thing turned. Oh, okay, of course, he's Witch's time. That makes sense. And now that means that uh, the traps are going to start going. It, oh, well, okay. Three. Only three? Oh, eyes open. Come on. Oh, eyes open again. No! Dang it. Nope. Let's time that. Laser? Um, okay, that was complete, complete fluke, but I'll take it. Come on. Oh, no! The eye was still open. Come on. Oh, you know what? I could technically sit on the eternal bubble to avoid those things very easily, like so. Yep. Not that avoiding them is normally a huge deal. Okay, only one health left. Do I, do I got it? I did it! First attempt. Here we go. Annihilation. Holy crap. Achievement unlocked. Annihilation. <laughs> In case you wondered. Although I, I suppose I kind of did annihilate the boss. Holy moly. Yay! Gem get. Let's see how the story unfolds from here. The Protector loomed over her. The Protector. Screeching as it drained the surroundings of all air. Zoe felt dizzy. Wait. The lands were bonding with monsters. Although tired and strained, Zoe knew that she had to press on. She couldn't let the good people of Alma down. And furthermore, she had to find a way home. And then suddenly, the Protector loomed over her, screeching as it drained the, surrounding, the surroundings of all air. Zoe felt dizzy. Vicar's followers were providing him power. She had to bring this battle to an end before she grew too before he grew too strong. Okay, that seems sudden. I have no idea. Is this actually retelling the story of the first game? If so, it's that wasn't much of a story, and I feel like I'm excused for, or like I should be excused for not remembering it. Hmm. Well, okay. Obviously, I'm not playing this game for the story. Wait. Huh? Interesting. Oh, and we're not at 100%. Okay, that's 98. Yeah, but as I said, I think I, rem I seem to remember an, an item somewhere that we need the, tele the, the supposed teleport ability for. So, there's that. Well, yeah, that lends us here, as expected. Why was that necessary? We are still in the past, right? I guess just... Maybe it would have been possible to end the boss fight in in the other timeline. Oh wait, we are in the we are in the past. Yeah, okay, so that's blocked off. So we did land in the timeline that wouldn't have allowed us to exit through there. So maybe it maybe it could have been possible to exit the boss fight in the present then, in which case we could have used the regular exit. Still, this version was a little bit faster, I guess. Well, I just want to see. I thought that enclosed item was pretty close to the beginning as well. just want to see if it's, if it's right here. It is. Okay, it's a rose petal too. Yeah, that would probably account for those missing 2%, huh? Wouldn't mind getting that, but well, not right now. Okay, we do have time stop now. How does that help us? Hmm. No, seriously, how does it help us? Does it help us at all? Did I try getting into that other... Oh, yeah. I did try getting into that temple all the way in the southwest. And that requires smashing through stone walls, I think. That are also underwater. So we need to be... We needed to be able to breathe underwater and also smash through barriers, I'm pretty sure, at least. Well, that really means that we do have to go to the catacombs, doesn't it? Because I, I'm pretty sure that just stopping or slowing time does not allow us to, to uh, make progress anywhere that we couldn't before. As far as I can tell. Well, first thing I'm gonna do is something I should have just done, because, you know, obviously we might always have a reason to uh, return to dungeons, so putting putting a teleport right next to the, the entrance of every dungeon 
seems uh, like a given. No, I did that. I, it feels kind of silly to have, you know, these three war points so close together, but it's a little bit annoying to go through, you know, to go from um, Mila village over here. So this is definitely more convenient and, uh, well, there's no reason not to return to town. So yeah, and unless I'm forgetting about something, it looks like the catacombs are the only thing that's really available right now to do. So, so much for my theory of it being completely optional. <clears throat> yes. So we do these. Yep. That's exactly enough. And as much as I would like to use these more offensive upgrades... Um, I mean, technically, we really only need this in very few, in, in very few select places. So I don't know. But then again, when you come across a place where you do need it and you don't have it, that's really annoying to have to, you know, mark that for later. Return, find a way to return, respec, return, do the thing, then return and respec again. <sighs> it's, you know, in one, in a way, it's it's re very rewarding to get enough orbs to unlock these things and be able to do things with them. You know, it's all just for optional rewards after all. It's not like these are uh, hindering your your main game progression, but still. On the other hand, you know, if you really want to want to get everything, you just cannot use the, the offensive upgrades that are available. Well, I don't know. It's, uh, it's kind of double-edged, but that's okay. Um, what was I gonna do or say? Oh right, okay. Of course, now that we have this, I could and probably will make my way back to the Water Temple and uh, get to that place that I should be able to get to now. That was the entire reason I wanted to have both the Unlimited Bubble and the Floating Blog, blog? Block, which I can use to rise up to the surface while underwater. Right. I don't remember the exact setup, but I know the place inside the temple. So um, I'm gonna see if I can get there relatively quickly. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna pause recording, make my way there, and we'll probably finally find out what's in that uh, that's in that one final room. So uh, yeah, see you there in a second. Hold on, never mind. This is important. This is adorable. I'm pretty sure I, while passing through here previously, I, I talked to the pig and there was actually some dialogue with it, or it was just a repeat of its previous dialogue. I, was, I definitely did not do this, and I approve. No chicken, but that's arguably at least as good. Uh, yeah, your pet pig is back on his hooves again. Not sure if we saw this on camera. Anyway, no chicken here, I think. Definitely not last time I checked, so yeah. Um, moving on, back on my way to the temple. Okay, maybe I should have included the way to get here, actually, because uh, that was kind of kind of dangerous. Well, the block was also a little bit confused about the physics here. Uh, can't blame him. Mm, it, I guess. Uh, so what I did was, well, I had to make my way over here from the the switch slash save point to the right, right? Which is the one that would have ground our friend, uh, Lincoln. Right. And previously I just had didn't have a way to uh, get back up to this level before drowning, right? So... Uh, and we also didn't have a way to... Um, I guess more... No, maybe we would have had a way? I, I guess I could have made the, the long way around. Oh yeah. Actually, I think that's what I did last time, because I was at this point before. The real issue was that I didn't have a way to, well, get up here, but, oh, hold on. Yeah. Now we can do this, use the block as a bubble, and finally get here. And all that does is give us another orb, which is cool, don't get me wrong. Really? Because... Okay, I guess that worked. See how much that gives us completion-wise. That is 92%. Wait, the orb itself didn't really add much at all. Hmm, I guess there are 
some things that I couldn't get? I mean, obviously there are. I also wonder if there are some entire rooms that are not on the map. Or not, not obvious from the map. Hmm. I mean, needless to say, this was kind of... Kind of a letdown. Uh, actually, that place to the bottom right there looks a bit suspicious, doesn't it? Is that maybe... Oh, no, it's not. I guess it couldn't be because there is actually a room to the right. Never mind. Hmm. Well, I mean, now... Now we finally got this out of the way. It's uh, honestly less exciting than I was hoping for. Although I didn't... I don't really know what I expected. A bit more than that. Oh well, now we know. And, well, at least we should be able to... get out of here easily enough. Quickly enough. Yeah. <clears throat> Plenty of time to sink down. And do this. Well, I guess I don't really need to be recording this. Also, I completely forgot to... Uh, restart my timer, so I can only guess how much time has passed at this point. Um, I would guess, though, while we are guessing, um, that we still have some time to start exploring the catacombs. Because why not, right? There are... I, I guess I went in and picked up one of the rose petals near the, uh, the leftmost entrance. I also, at some point while passing through, unlocked that door near the rightmost uh, the rightmost entrance. But I didn't explore past that, so... There's that. And there might have been one more, one or two more treasures along the way that uh, I couldn't pick up because of... Well, I guess mostly just because of um, the missing key, which we do now have. So it's probably worth traveling all the way through the known areas. But maybe I'll start from the right this time. Anyway, long story short, I guess I'll make my way out of here teleport over to the rightmost entrance and we'll start exploring the catacombs from there, see how much we can do in the 10-ish minu minutes that remain, so yeah, let's see. And we are here, that didn't really take very long at all, entering the catacombs for the first time with a light source. Yes, we actually now see what's going on here. That's a huge game changer. Don't venture too far into the ancient catacombs without a proper light source. Dorif. Did we read this one before? I guess I don't remember doing so, but that obviously would have given me a pretty explicit hint as to the actual existence of a light source, which, you know, for the longest time I wasn't really sure if that was going to be a thing. Anyway, um, wait, didn't I? Isn't this where I... Oh, wait, was it the other one? No, okay, it's so the actual rightmost entrance. You know what? I said that, but I really meant this one, because I completely forgot that there was an entire additional entrance. Well, I guess we might as well start from here. Maybe all I'm gonna do this episode is, since we already made significant progress in defeating another boss and unlocking more of the quote-unquote story, for what it's worth, um, maybe we'll, we won't go th to new areas for the time being, but um, just focus on... Oh! These are the torches that we can now light, for what it's worth. I mean, what is it worth, actually? Rooms are already lit up, just just uh, by virtue of us having that amulet, so what's the point, really? Also, I'm assuming that I was here at some point and already smashed these. There might have been something in there as well. Hmm. Who knows? Anyway, yeah, I'm just going to backtrack through the areas that we've been to and uh, see if I was right about this those items that I saw. This is, um, well, this happened. Yeah, we can't do that, but we don't need to. Kind of want to go ahead and see if I can regain some health. Thank you. Much appreciated. This room down here was optional, and it still looks to be that way. Interestingly, that, yeah, some of the rooms already have lit torches. Seriously, that secondary effect of being able to light torches seems very pointless. Unless it kind of... unless it somehow um, defeats these dark creatures, it does not. Hmm. I mean, this would really only make sense if there was a way to lose your... your light source, somehow. 
But I didn't really see how that could be the case. Maybe lighting all the torches in the entire catacombs does something? That's another possibility, I guess? Although I'm not one that I find particularly uh, attractive. So I'm not sure if I might have... I might have missed some already. But we'll see. Uh, whoa, that must be the shiny necklace Boyd was telling me about. The one with an ember living in it. Okay. Yes. Well, if that fire spirit's in here, in there, it's doing a mighty fine job lighting up these old catacombs. It sure does. Okay. Anything else? Nope. Hmm. Right, I think I... Wait. Oh. That was awkward? For a second there, I thought... I was wondering if I had used up my key or... I need a, dif a different one. Yeah, we had seen this, and all that does is open a way to one orb. Okay, so that's one of the items that I remembered. That's good. Let's save the game here. <clears throat> and we could grab that. Actually, let me just first travel upward this way, just in case... Just in case there was something up here. Oh, there is, but we have to teleport in there. Oh, that looks like a thicker wall than than we typically I typically expect to teleport through. Hmm. Okay, it seems like it's the only thing up that way, though. say that uh, being able to dash also makes traversing this place a lot easier. Or a lot more convenient, I should probably say. Uh, okay, I feel like there is something else. Well, there's obviously a pathway we couldn't take. Maybe that's the thing I remember. Oh! Hey, chicken! Um, are you the chicken? That was added? That definitely wasn't a chicken here before, right? Or, unless it, I just missed it in the dark, but... I mean, the patch note specifically said, added a chicken. I can't... I mean, I'm glad that I can't, but... Attack you, but I also can't seem to interact with you in any other way. So... Is that just there... For fun? <laughs> or is there any kind of purpose to it? Oh, no, it fell asleep. Or rather... Okay, so it's just panicking while we're there? Whoops. Sorry, buddy. Not sure what makes you so afraid of me. Don't venture too far into the ancient catacombs without a proper light source. Really? Were these here before? Oh, you know what? These might be... This might be what they were talking about when they mentioned that they added... Uh, or that they made it clear that you're, you're supposed to have some sort of tool in certain places. I guess, yeah, if those had been there, I wouldn't have needed to uh, wonder whether, you know... I was supposed to have a light source to properly explore this place. So, yeah, that's kind of cool. Uh, I guess I can save the game here, it doesn't really matter. But, yeah. But, yeah. Right. You can open this now. And apparently we've been to the room to the right of here, according to the map? How, though? We couldn't possibly have. Why was this map already... Uh, this, this room already mapped? Unless... Oh, unless... I think I might remember something? Uh, this is... Well, okay, whatever. This is whatever. Yeah. Okay. We can go through here, and there was something in here... Not quite sure what. I feel like that was something on the right side of the screen there. Hmm. Okay, that answers that question at least. Well, I mean, I said that I wasn't gonna explore anything new, but since we're here, might as well take a quick look down here. Oh. Wait. Except we can't do anything here. We still can't crawl. Oops. That's not what I 
Hmm. And that the wall straight ahead from here looks very cracked. Actually, much of the ceiling there does too. I wonder if this is gonna be crackable by me. Of course, it isn't right now, so. Yeah, well, I mean, it can be hit, so. Ouch. Looks like we need the wall smash upgrade to get through there. Hmm. Okay, hold on a second. Alright, just had to confirm my recording timer, and it looks like um, we actually have reached the normal episode length. I mean, this is kind of an unsatisfying place to wrap up the episode, but um, again, we did make some nice progress. We did pick up, I guess, an item and confirmed a couple of locations, if nothing else. Um, and there is obviously quite a bit more to the catacombs, and I mean, if nothing else, we could go to the actual rightmost entrance, as I as I originally said, and start from there, and maybe I will. Or or we could go with the path down the middle there, down the middle entrance, or I guess the third from the left, or whatever you want to call it, um, and explore the path that we, you know, that we've seen, start with that one. Mm, I, I kind of feel like doing that more. Well, I don't know. Ultimately, it doesn't matter. Obviously, we're gonna go everywhere eventually, but um, yeah. That being said, I guess I'm going to wrap it up here somewhat randomly and we'll explore the catacombs for real this time, or for real next time, I guess. So as always, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye-bye.